Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with with another LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2023 review, and this one's on the Battle of Hogwarts, of course. So on the front of the box here, we would have the LEGO Harry Potter logos and Wizarding World logo, and same border that we've been seeing since 2021, of course. And then picture of the set in action, or I mean, right there with the rest of Hogwarts in the background. And then all the mini figs included, and recommend ages 9 and up. Set number 76415 has 730 pieces. Flip to the back side of which you can see uh, another position of it, and sort of broken apart, of course, and the different power blasts. And also, it kind of exploded out, and how you can rebuild it into the uh, Hogwarts Bridge sections, of course. Just end in the logo again, and, and now onto the manual, which kind of that odd rendering that we've been seeing since last year, of course. And then how transitioning the paper bags and uh, add for the builder app on the back, how to win on the online survey, all the pieces that come with the set. And how you can connect it with some of the other Hogwarts uh, sets from from 2021 and 2022, of course. And then the alternate arrangement of the sections, and the sections all exploded out. And then, of course, the last building step. To the mini figs. So now for the mini figs, we would have all-new exclusive variant of Harry Potter himself, but of course with the uh, dark tan jacket on, kind of fitting to this whole sequence at the second half of Deathly Hallows Part 2, which is what, of course, what this says based upon, of course. But of course, there's good printing there, and hair piece, same as it's been, kind of similar to what we've had for the last couple sets. And also, not at all neat, like printing there, and also we which get he who was not be named, but also in Sam Green robes like we saw in one of the uh, CMF series in like 2020 or so, or 2018 or so. We have our face printed, which is kind of similar to what we had previously. And also you may notice that how both how both him and Harry are both have what you probably look kind of similar to the uh, recent wand pieces but except they're kind of modded just to fit in the bar kind of well place and also a clear stud on the, the center but there's a reason for that which i'll show soon and then next to which next to which is exclusive variant or i mean sort of exclusive variant of neville longbottom which same hair piece as Harry, but in dark brown, and of course this sweater that he has on in has on in some a couple of the movies, of course, and of course the earlier style wand piece, and of course holding the sword of Gryffindor like we've seen since 2020, of course. And then here we would have a Bellatrix Lestrange, which probably an exclusive variant of her but with dual molded arms of course and also torso printing done quite nicely and also face print of which also done good but also not at all any uh, a dress printing for that yes, although it would have been nice if there was but yeah and of course hair piece same as it's been for the last couple years and next to which is uh, Molly Weasley 
with the face print and hair piece, same as they've been since 2020, and also uh, front torso printing, like and uh, dress printing, all quite good for that with this stripy pattern, of course. The last of which is the only one that is exclusive to this set is Scaviar. Yeah, Scaviar. Which with the kind of same hair piece as Sirius Black kind of did, but however, the face printing of which, which has some thick scruffles to it, which although that could work out with uh, Poe Dameron in Star Wars, just just a thought. And of course, but although the torso printing, uh, quite good for how it is, like with this, with the straps up and stuff, and also the like printing with plaque. Uh, pants and also toe printing, although plaid printing, which could be quite useful with custom figs and stuff. And then lastly, uh, which get the genie, uh, which same as it's been since as it's been since 2018, but except that not at all the printing for the eyes, of which kind of weird how that is. But aside from that, all of which is still the same, of course. And as for the, the back sides of each mini thing. And of course, all of most of which do feature some double side faces, of course. But whereas for both Molly, Molly Weasley and Harry, which same as from previous sets, and Neville Longbottom's kind of new, and, and of course, Gabby are, uh, which kind of new for that, uh, which is new. Obviously, but however, and once again, good uh, towards back towards the printing spin, and also as I mentioned earlier, between Harry and Voldemort, is also do get the power blasts which we have seen for a while, where you can like. Pull place them right on to the studs and represent the magic blast bits so that they have at, at the end as the big climax of this movie. And now on to this a gateway of Hogwarts, of course, which has received kind of similar to what we had with some of the uh, Hogwarts sets from both 2021 and 2022, of course, and also like all of those, and also Room of Requirement from earlier in the year, kind of comes off in sections. But also, one stack kind of come off in different ways, where instead of like pinned connections, is with clip kind of connections. Uh, hang on a sec. Okay. Also, getting this with this other side, and these two as well. And so now for this upper section, which Kind of a bit like the uh, 2021 uh, Fluffy Encounters then, but except it's just one tower, of course. Like, 
time. So, oh, oops. But also, like that, since it's resting on a few studs on there, of course. Or like this quite bottom section, which just bricks and plates stacked up, and and of course all those pins in there to connect to each other, and also just tiled up steps. Although wood could have worked out if they were studded to as stand a fig on two, of course, and then flip to the other side of which, which is just the usual door pieces that go in and outwards, but. Although you can't actually pull this top part off and represent, get easier access to it, which could have worked out, but yeah. Into this upper section with the rooftop that also is. As you can see, also some more of those uh, kind of pieces there, and also this other slope piece as for interesting to it, and also this like. A window section but it's opaque dark tan but and also with a large with a sticker on it with the large clock to it but whereas you can actually uh, flip it around and it shows the uh, corrupted uh, ruined versions of it of course it can represent it in both ways of course and then same that films that and not much in the interior spot, which, but whatever. Oh wait, I think I'll just be some in the background, yeah. In this rooftop section, which a bit is of course sand green, like we've been seeing since 2021, and also this upper section, which we've also been seeing on it for a while, and of course sitting on just one stud. But although I think a two studs, or I mean a two stud plate could work out there so it doesn't fall off quite as easily. And then interior section, nothing much to it except for a, is if you can see in there, a little Technic uh, hold, a rod holder to that. But not sure what for, but most likely just for extra support, of course. And those have other jumper plates around with the odd with the pointed top bricks it's just for extra detailing and all and it comes to the fit on like so and also as for one of these two side sections of which with the top four parts can pop off of course like this front section which does have uh, what you would know as a flip fire missile but well, you can kind of use it as a flip fire missile even though you don't see flip fire missiles used for a function anymore but at least it still works out well for torch detailing and also you can take out and use for a torch of course and also you get those uh, extra uh, pinhole bricks there, and of course for the extra uh, parts of it, of course. And like this one wall section, which is just a few uh, traditional bricks and slopes, a uh, dark gray, and also with sand green in it. But also a recent leaf piece, but in dark green. Quite nice to see here. And then also you get a little clip like part to it, which also for the uh, wall parts to do so. And, then, uh, and looking at the inside kind of space, I would see kind of a brick wall pattern, but it's a large sticker on a large uh, plate or panel kind of piece there. But holding like a, a fire light part to it, of course. And also you get a little table, which, which is attached on just two studs and just a large jumper and it with classic with recent teacup and also little dish piece acting as a bowl, of course. And also you get 
a large plate on it with little Nexo Knights pyramids on there and put on like so and also this other roof section which has G slopes and same stuff similar stuff going on and also this top part section which kind of comes off easily since it's on the little jumper plates to of course represent some of the destructibility in this whole sequence and also still using those recent windowish kind of pieces is for like spaces stuff and also a large jagged slope on top of course and of course can put on like so And then to this other section, which roof part, kind of the same stuff, but opposite. And also this, also the same. Entranceway, same torch design. And also the same kind of table idea, but with nothing on it, and it's just a plate for there. And also you get this little fireplace in here. Which with a couple of traditional flame pieces on there, and also these two telescopes acting as extra detailing, and also a couple of, of thin green slopes so above, of course. You can like put on like so. And the top one, of course. Here we go. Oh, whoops. <laughs> and then, last of which are these two wall kind of sections. Well, I'll just mention one of them. Wait, well, they're sort of similar to that. Well, get this top part, which do plop right off and are on a few jumpers. See, oh, look, resting on a dark blue plates to there, Repre to obviously represent the water pathway of Hogwarts. And also these uh, large jagged slopes going all, all along, of course. And, um, a few archways and the uh, castle window parts, but of course representing as gaps. I don't know. Other side of which, which has a large sticker bit that has a Hogwarts crest logo there. And of course does have one of those recent uh, barred pieces and also what I think is probably kind of new right, let me get that okay and also this all new kind of plate piece which is like a or tile piece which is like that but with rounded parts to it and can fit right onto it which I think might be all new or maybe it came in some other sets I'm not sure but whatever this uh, top part of which which is just sand green uh, jagged slopes and also a couple of torches on top of course and also a couple jumpers on the sides obviously Now, other one of which just this is quite similar to that, but of course, this has clip parts on opposite ends, obviously. But yeah, and of course, you can clip on to the both sides like so. And of course, yeah. right in front of it, and you got a little display of the 
whole sequence going on. So now for my overall verdict is, I think this is which a, a very good set for how it is. Like do you get, since of course this is which representing something from uh, Deathly Hollows, one that we barely get very many sets from, but at least great to see here, of course. You know, and, and of course get kind of a good diorama of our characters in action, of course, and also couple of pop-off kind of features representing this second half of the movie but yeah and also and also nice that this one kind of doubles in doubles up as Hogwarts bridge part like if you got two of this set you can then you can have both this and also the Hogwarts bridge section add to here to that but yeah but also the price point of which seven three pieces for uh, 50 60 dollars that's kind of good for how it is because even though there's barely much of like new pieces made for the minifigs since all of which are kind of uh, a bit like exclusive variants of existing figs but well aside from uh, scabior of course and so and if any of you are looking to get this set for your uh, Hogwarts display, definitely get this set. Or if you are looking to get this set for your uh, uh, set, Harry Potter set collection, also definitely get this set. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.